Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is the next episode of the flappy bird in unreal engine series and in this video we are actually not going to do the animation because uh, uh, well I am not got that quite ready yet so in this video instead what we are going to do is we are going to do the uh, main menu for our game because currently we have got this ma map game map and everything is inside of here which is obviously not something we want so we are going to implement a main menu so how are uh, we going to go about that well we are first of all obviously need to create a new level and just to call it something like uh, actually let me change my keyboard uh, just call it something like menu and uh, uh, let's just open it up and save and once i open it up you can see this is a completely empty level because we don't actually want anything here so we can keep it empty but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go under uh, blueprints and I'm going to right click and create a new blueprint asset and just go ahead and search for game mode and just select that and name this something like menu game mode menu game mode because uh, uh, you need to have a separate game mode for uh, like the menu because it has a separate kind of gameplay it does not actually have any gameplay but uh, you kind of need to do this yeah like that and that's pretty awesome uh, and what we are going to do uh, with this is we are, we are going to go under world settings and select the game mode override to be this so just select that and that should now allow us to uh, change this game mode uh, just open this up menu game mode and we can change this uh, here and that should work so uh, for now what we need to change is we only need to change the HUD class we are going to create a new blueprint class actually uh, you don't actually even need to change the heart because the menu is just really simple we are going to just go here and create a new user interface and a widget blueprint and just call it something like uh, let's call it menu menu uh, ui yeah and open that up and what we can do is we can basically take this and put a text here and call this text something like uh, like like let's say flappy bird you can put the name of your game here in all caps say flappy bird and like that and uh, with that we are we can take this and set the size to be content and increase its size quite a bit and then i'm going to set it to be middle and set this to be zero and then i'm going to set the x to be 0 0.5 like that and it's a bit too large uh, okay that's better uh, and set the Y to be 1 and then just decrease the position on the Y until it's like that and let's just set this to be a reddish kind of color uh, not reddish maybe greenish yeah that that looks better uh, and yes that's pretty awesome so we are going to increase add in a small outline here as well and let's go ahead and hit play uh, currently of course it does not display this so go under menu game mode and in the event graph and in here we have got begin play and event tick well we are going to delete the event tick and for the begin play we are going to basically say uh, create widget create uh, and you should have create widget here and just select something like uh, menu UI here uh, like that and then just add this to the add to player screen just add this to the player screen and once we do that uh, that should now display the thing here which is perfect now obviously currently it is uh, not like a, a we haven't got our mouse freed so I'm going to set mm, mouse uh, set uh, we are going to get our controller for that actually uh, or let's see if we can do it uh, mouse visible uh, yeah we can't so you just basically need to get your controller controller say controller uh, actually not get get controller get player controller uh, get player controller well that's a bit weird okay here we got so get the player controller and just say uh, set mouse uh, cursor visibility cursor uh, set mouse cursor sh set show mouse cursor yeah that's that's the function we are looking for and we need to set this to be true and that should now work now we have got our mouse working so we just need to finish the main menu up and for that uh, just go under main menu UI and in here uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and change this to have a white outline because our background is black uh, so we don't need to we need to have a white uh, you know white white outline uh, let's go in here and just select this to be completely white 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 like that uh, and if I hit play now what you should see is that we have got a perfect looking thing here uh, but you could make it a little grayish I guess maybe maybe like that 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 looks a lot better yeah that that looks a bit better or maybe a bit more even uh, like that 
let's see how well that looks yeah that that i think looks quite nice so now we are going to add in just a single button here which is going to be the play button add a button add the text to it and then select the button and make sure that you make it uh, Mm, size to content then go under text and increase it to whatever you want and then change the text to be the correct thing which is uh, in here our case it's just play like that uh, maybe add an exclamation mark uh, yeah that's awesome uh, so increase the size and then go ahead and add in a outline uh, like that and take the button and we are going to uh, mm, anchor the button uh, in the middle and set the X to be 0.5 for the anchor and then set the position on the x to be zero and set the position on the y to be like this so it's uh, pretty awesome so now we need to just go ahead and add in a own pressed one and just uh, go ahead and say open level uh, by name and put the name here and the name needs to exactly match the name of the game level including capitalization if i'm not wrong uh, all right once we have got that that should be pretty much it so if i hit play then this works then i can hit play here and we get going to the game which is pretty awesome now the only thing you need to make sure that you do is you go under project settings and go under maps and modes and set the edit, uh, uh, editor startup can be left at game map but set the game default map to be menu so that the menu starts up when the when we actually play the finished packaged game so yeah this are pretty much it for this video i will see you in the next one in which we'll add uh, mm, the finally add the animations of the uh, bird so stay tuned for that and make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one and bye